Adding customized fields to my contacts folder is something that I do quite often. And it saves me a lot of time in the long run. For instance, maybe out of all these people in my contacts, I want to know which ones are current clients and which ones are not. Well, I don't have that information just by looking at these people cards. And I wouldn't see it just by looking at the business cards or any other current view that I have, including the list view. Notice here in the list view, the headers at the top here. I can see any attachments. I can see their job titles and companies. I can see where they're from and their phone numbers, but I don't know if they're current clients or not. So what I need to do is I need to add in a custom field letting me know. And this is how it's done. The first thing that I want to do is bring up the field chooser. And to do that, I right mouse click on any one of my fields up at the top of the screen. And it's the third option down, field chooser. Now mine popped up off screen, so I'll just drag it in so you can see it. There it is. And you can select from any of these built in fields or you can create your own. So what I'm going to do is click on new and I'm going to give it the name of current client and I'm going to change the type here. I want to change this to a yes, no box. So under type, you'll see there's numbers, there's currencies, date and time. There's also yes, no. And I'll leave the format there of icon, but you also have yes, no, true, false, and on, off. All right, I'll go ahead and click on OK. And now all I have to do is just drag it from the field chooser to the list. So I hold down my left mouse button and drag up, and I'll drag it right before full name and release my mouse. I'll even make it a little bit bigger by double clicking on it. I'll close my field chooser. So now I can come in and say Alexander is a current client. Omri is a past client, so I won't check his name, but I'll come down to Anna and Carlos and Daniel, all current clients. And now if I wanted to sort by current clients, I can just click on the header, click on it once. All my current clients are down at the bottom. Click on it again. Now all my current clients are at the top. So it's really easy to create your own custom fields. You can see how valuable it is as far as gathering more information. And again, all I did was just right mouse click on one of the field headers at the top, went down to field chooser. Right now it says user defined because I just defined one, but I'll change that. I'll have to scroll up a little bit. And one more time, there we go, change that to all contact fields. And this is what you first saw when we came in, plus a little bit more. You can choose either one of these, or again, go to new, give it a name, a type of field, and the format. And then once you have that in there, just click on OK, and drag it into your list. Easy as that, and it gives you so much more information.